No one talks about like how you get all dressed up and ready and prepared to film a video and then it comes down, you open your camera, you're ready, you sit down, you have your blog post ready to, you know, basically talk to and then you don't feel like filming at all with the thoughts that you need to edit and edit and make it pretty and fix things and then post it and then promote it and then share it oh my god sometimes it's really easy other times it's like the hardest thing ever and i think it all depends on your mood where your energy is at where your focus is at how you feel how your growth is going it all like comes into play but yeah this is really really hard sometimes and like right now i'm like okay i have already ideas and i have already plans of things i could easily talk about but i don't feel like doing it so here is what i'm going to do instead this week it's going to be very experimental i am going to come up with an idea on the spot and just talk to you on the spot so i'm going to brainstorm for like maybe five minutes and see what i can come up with and then I'm gonna relate it to you. So hopefully this goes well. If not, then at least I tried it one time and I won't be doing this again, but I just really don't feel like, you know, reading a script or not like reading a script, but I don't feel like looking at things that I've already written or talked about, you know what I mean? Because for me, it's like I've seen my content a million times. For you guys, it could be like you first come across it you first saw a video, first saw one of my blog posts but for me it's like by the time I'm posting one of these things it's like I've seen it so much that I cannot see it any more times so let's do that today let's try to like come up with something on the go maybe we're gonna talk about how to stay motivated in filming that could be a topic I don't know what topic it's gonna be I'll update you in a minute and obviously by the title you will know what topic it is so yeah There we go, we have our content for today, which is five ways to stay motivated to film YouTube videos. And this is going and running on real lifetime because I'm literally trying to think about how do I stay motivated on days that I actually succeed, you know, and not procrastinate versus on like days like this, like why am I not motivated? So we're gonna go through these five ways as I come up with them, as I think about my own journey on YouTube in the last year. And hopefully it will re-help me and it will also help you guys who are maybe starting off a YouTube journey, starting off a YouTube channel. Let's go and let's see if we can mutually help each other. My first tip, okay, here we go, off the get-go, I have a first tip. It's do not wait and film and edit and post and promote your video on the same day that you have your YouTube schedule on. So me, it's on a Thursday and right now I'm filming this on a Thursday. In a few hours, you guys are gonna see this video on a Thursday. And so I, I was doing better. I had a schedule where I would take Monday off in a month and film like four or five videos. And then throughout the weeks, I would edit them and post them for my Thursdays. So far, this last few weeks, I'm like off the bandwagon and it makes things 10 times worse and 10 times harder. I'm like back to square one when I first started my YouTube journey where it was like so much pressure to like get everything done and learn everything in one go instead of like pacing myself and like having set schedules. So yeah, I would say my first and most important tip is to not do everything in one day. Obviously everyone is different so some people they like to batch their content creation and other people like to like space them out. So honestly you need to find what works for you and then stick with it as much as you can. My second tip is when you're missing more like inspiration kind of content. My second tip would be to change up your video style. Maybe you're used to having a script, maybe you're used to filming in one location, maybe your videos don't have much, you know, zazz in them, maybe you just have one take or a few multiple takes but you're always sitting on the same spot, always like closed off, not moving or you know, not changing the levels of your voice so maybe just try to do something new or if not if you have a certain niche and you feel like you've been saying and doing the same things every single week maybe try to 
find something that is similar to your niche it has a relation to your niche but it's also quite different so it will challenge you and it will make things more excited not only for you but even maybe for your audience so yeah in that sense this is my second tip change things up my third tip is to remember why you started just like go back and remember your journey remember like the first few days when you posted a video and you're at zero subscribers and zero views and how gratifying it was the first time you hit a thousand views on a video the first time you hit a hundred subscribers 500 subscribers 1000 subscribers wherever you're at at the journey even when you only have a simple 500 followers or a simple 25 views it is exciting like people out there have seen your content it's not in vain sure you're not maybe a channel that has a million subscribers but those are just vanity numbers the thing is when you get those comments from your subscribers or people that watch you and they say this video was good this video was helpful this video has helped me this video came at the right time in my life do you know how do you feel in those moments because I can tell you with full confidence when I get these comments these comments mean so much to me because sometimes I'm just like I'm going to quit I suck at this I don't know what I'm doing I don't know what I'm saying you know like you have those moments of self-doubt but when you see those comments and you see that you've helped people you've seen that you've impacted people okay even if you only get one comment a week or one comment a month those comments really like they push you they really push you and they really make you feel like you've been seen that your hard work was not in vain and you know what it's not in vain you know things have a long shelf life on youtube and so you just have to remember why you started this in the first place why do you start your channel in the first place how have things changed what keeps you still motivated to this day is it the comments is it the people like you know you need to really investigate your feelings towards your channel and you really need to like look at your journey not just from a day-to-day -day basis but from the long run following up with that advice my fourth tip would be to stop comparing yourself oh my god comparison comparison it's just honestly it's like the root of inner evil or something i don't know i'm making things up as i go up right now but honestly like if you compare yourself you will be stuck you will never evolve into your own being you will never do your own thing you will never like you know bring out that uniqueness that makes you you and everyone is unique in their own way and everyone deserves a platform in their own way so stop comparing yourself you're not there you're not that person you don't have the same life circumstances even if they're close or related like it's just it's it's not you it's not you that's that's the at the end of the day that's the message i want to convey it's not you you're you and you have your platform and you have your mind and you have the things that excite you that you're passionate about that you want to talk about that you have your strengths and weaknesses and that shines true and that's why you don't need to compare yourself try not to compare yourself you only really should be comparing yourself to yourself and you should only be not comparing yourself but looking at other people that inspire you to do better and to grow more that's all no comparison is needed you just need to look for inspiration and that's all okay so my fifth and final tip on how to stay inspired within your youtube filming journey would be to actually take a break i know it sounds counterproductive i know it sounds like a horror story for your channel but honestly if you wait it like this like do you rather take a few weeks break and you know come up with ideas feel passionate again about your youtube about your journey about filming about creating or would you rather just keep on slugging on and eventually one day you hit that road where you cannot come back and you don't want to film anymore for, like ever you don't want to try it anymore because i was there if you look at my channel there was a moment in time where i just didn't have the time or energy or a literally mental capacity to run my youtube with everything else i was doing in my life and i knew i had to take a break and make sure i was ready again to come back and actually post consistently and that's the thing like youtube is all about consistency but you cannot burn yourself out so sometimes people do need that break one week two week one month and 
you know what you might lose some you might gain some you might just come back a different person a more inspired person you might come back with more intentionality with your messages and what you want to create and what you want to inspire and what you want to help with other people or what you want to entertain other people with and that shines through it honestly shines through sometimes we really need these big setbacks we really need to take a step back before even going further in our journeys honestly take a break i know we're such a hustle culture but sometimes you just need that break trust me i've been there and my channel has grown since so a break is not going to kill your channel it can slow things down but it can also boost things so much more and not only that you boost your own motivation and you take care of yourself and you're ready again to try again okay guys so that was the end of the video okay how did i do like honestly let me know do you like this form of video filming because i literally came up with these on the spot like i took maybe like five seconds to think about my answers before filming again in between all my tips and tricks as i reflected quickly on my own journey my own personal journey and what are the things that i do like say i took a break i changed up my content i did you know i film in different settings i film different styles of video and those are all things that helped me and that like helped me grow in my youtube channel and my youtube journey so i would love to know what you guys have tried i would love to know if you're starting off your journey what are you talking about what are you presenting on your channel is it entertainment is it helpful tricks is it helpful advice are you selling something are you selling a course are you trying to like drive traffic somewhere just let me know there are so many reasons to start a youtube channel but essentially i do believe all youtube channel has that same goal as to bring people together bring like-minded people together or help people out there to a certain degree because even entertainment is helpful even entertainment is valuable in our society so yes let me know what you think let me know what you think about this type of style of filming because i will also later on convert these tips into like a more thought out well thought out well written blog post and i'll it will be up on my blog as well but for now i'm just gonna do the rough editing of this video post it on a thursday for you guys and read your comments if you have any i would love to have any comments about this topic about anything anything you feel like commenting obviously be respectful and i will see you on the next shelf Bye. Oh my god, I've been sitting with my leg up and I think like the one side of my body has just gone completely numb. So, do I recommend? No, I do not recommend. Mm.